Do you do you feel like you're an OG to the young rappers in the game yeah, right now? I know that. I already I know that for a fact. What's your, what's your thoughts on, on being an OG? Um, I ain't never thought I'd be. To be honest, shit. You know, growing up in this shit, and you don't know whether you gonna make it. You don't know whether you gonna make it out alive, nigga. Mm -hmm. So I ain't never thought I'd be, but nah. It took me a while to see. I came out. I, I came out yelling that shit. OG Topo. I felt like I was. I'm a G. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like I was. You know what I'm saying? But the streets told me I was. Like them niggas made so I knew that I'm. But you OG in this shit. Them little niggas showed me. Yeah, bitch, bro. You, you OG. Them little niggas come to me on some OG shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's everywhere too. The east and the west side. You know what I'm saying? Both sides. Them little niggas. Yeah, they trying to see how I can help. Them. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So in a sense, you're, you're a veteran in the game. Yeah. Can you have one foot in and one foot out? One foot in the streets, one foot in the rap game? Yeah. Shit, uh, nigga, you better. You better have one foot in and one foot out. You can't. You better have one. You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to have, um, if you're going to be all the way in the streets and rapping, you better just be ready for whatever. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta come into that shit with a clear mind and, 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 and have control of whatever you got going on. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, that's the best way to be, one foot in and one foot out. That's how I was. So they are, like for young artists, if they is one foot in the streets and one foot in the rap game, how do you market, you remember the earlier question, how do you make music without telling on yourself? How do you market a young artist when they one foot in? And one, one foot out. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's a risk you take. <laughs> it's a risk, you know what I'm saying? It's a risk, it's a risk now. You gotta stand in ill, but it's a risk. How you market them? Uh, you just got to go ahead and um, if if you if you gonna get you a little if you gonna get to an artist and try to market him whatever you just got to go ahead and do the dirty work for him with shit that he ain't up on go ahead and handle the business for him you know what I'm saying uh, cause he gonna be in the streets regardless the little nigga gonna be in the streets regardless so you got to do it for him got now um, you know the so you don't you don't let them market themselves. Somebody literally got to be in charge of them and market them. Like, I, I would rather, I would rather somebody, I, like, I, I, um. Do you pull them away from social media or? Shit, no, that's what they need. You ain't going to make it without social media. And that's what the only thing. No, not them. It's not like somebody else running social media phone. Yeah, like, yeah, because, you know, little niggas have beef and shit. And they'll fuck everybody on their on they page and shit like that. They need an overseer that's going to step there and be like, no, bro, nothing but music mm -hmm. going here. Yes, sir. You know, they want to post pictures of them and they bitch. No, bro. You, we need you on here. Your music on here. You see what I'm saying? That's all this for is the music page. You know what I'm saying? I had to understand that. I understood that late, too, but I understood it eventually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you set that shit aside. Whatever you do beyond this music, that's what you do. But on this music page, yeah, you got to have that music on there. You know what I'm saying?